how to practice jazz splits, that elusive motion. We are not jumping into them, however, we will be practicing sliding into jazz splits, as well as the different parts of our body that we're gonna to use to create this action. So first I need to warm up my hips. And we'll start with the little hip circles. I'm gonna bend our knees as we do that. My feet are a little bit wider than my shoulders. And I can go back the other direction. Great, now we can do a little bit of actual hip circles with our legs, hip circles. Try to lift your leg as high as you can. And then we go the other direction. Great, and switch sides. Switch directions. Now we're gonna take a little stretch for our hip flexors. I'm gonna bend my front leg and bend my back leg. And I'm going to squeeze my butt so I push my leg, my left leg in this case, my back leg, pushing it forwards and creating resistance. And then I can just slowly sink a little bit more into that. By squeezing my butt muscle and pushing forwards, that resistance is creating the stretch I need on the front of my leg. If you want to make this a little more advanced, you can add your upper body. We're going to do the other side. So I have my, in this case, it's my right leg back. I'm going to bend my knees and then I'm going to squeeze my butt, push forwards or lower just a little bit more into that stretch. Can lift up if I need to. So we stretch the front of our legs. We're going to stretch our hamstrings just a little bit and I like to do this where place a knee on the floor, bring my front leg forwards and keeping my ankle relaxed. I want to keep make sure my hips are square. You can either use a wall to help your balance or a yoga block. And I want to think of arching my back just a little bit, stick my butt back. I can walk myself down just a little bit. I want to feel this in my hamstring. I can give my ankle a little bit of a forwards and backwards rock. I can rotate to feel the stretch in slightly different places. We can do with a pointed foot. But since this is mostly for Lindy Hop, it doesn't really matter if her foot's pointed or flexed. I think I'm keeping my ankles a little more relaxed. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. And we have our hips are square. That square in your hips is very important to getting an accurate stretch. And I actually want to engage my front leg and kind of push down into the floor. An active stretch is a safer stretch than just relaxing all of our muscles. We are much less likely to have an injury if we're actually engaging. You will have a dominant side, a side of your body that likes the stretch more, a side that can go further than the others. I am very right leg dominant in the front. <laughs> The leg that is most comfortable in front of you is the foot that we will use for the jazz split in the front. We can give ourselves a little bit of a calf stretch. You can use a wall to help you with the balance. Just getting a little lunge forwards. And then we can switch, make sure we do both sides. We're gonna warm up our hips a little bit more. It's a very strange looking drill. We're going to stand on the floor, they're called fire hydrants. <laughs> and I want to think of opening my hips to a 90 degree angle with my knees as much as I can. And I'm going to sit as tall as I can. I'm going to switch my hips over and switch my hips over. If you are less flexible in the hips, 
you might end up with your feet pretty far in the air and that's okay. Just try to maintain that 90 degree angle. We'll give it a couple switches over. Essentially, this internal rotation is mimicking our jazz split. We're getting our hip joints all ready for this range of motion. If you want to give it a really good challenge for your muscles, do this without your hands on the ground. Great, so now we are ready to practice our jazz splits. So the first thing is we want to think we have our legs straight. I'm picking my right leg because it's my dominant leg. Then I'm going to tip my left leg or the back leg into that fire hydrant position we were using. This is a bad version of a jazz split. And I could think of pushing off the floor if I don't want as much weight in my leg. But if I have enough flexibility, I'm gonna take this leg and I'm gonna push it back as much as I can. So I have a little bit more of a stretch across my body. Jazz split. <laughs> so I'm hitting the pause. We can also practice sliding into this. The best way to do it is you have a friend someone to help you lower into it, which I will demonstrate in a moment. We can use a pillow to help us control our landing so we don't end up on our butt or slamming our knee onto the ground. So I can just place this pillow between my legs and I can use a wall or maybe even a chair to put some weight on it. This is the advanced version and I would slide into this position. Ta-da! If you have a friend to help you out, you can have one person or even two people is a little bit safer. So you have one on each arm and your friend is going to give you a nice elbow. I'm going to link elbows, maybe even use two hands. If I had another friend, I would grab them on the other. You can grab their arm, you can grab their shoulder. Your friend is responsible for your body weight right now. Now, Sean is going to take a nice deep squat or like a little lunge and just take it nice and controlled as I slowly lower myself to the ground. Ta-da! 